So Magic Product just keeps on coming, and I'm playing catch-up today as I review Dr. Layer's Secretorium Secret Layer Super Drop. I hope you stay tuned. Hello, Planeswalkers, and welcome back to the Signature Spellbomb, your YouTube channel for product reviews for the Oathbreaker format. If that's what you're looking for from your YouTube channel, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and tell me what else you're looking for so I can always provide what you need. Today I'm going to go through these secret layers one by one because I feel like a lot of them are going to have some effect on the format, and if nothing else, the purchasing power of our favorite Magic the Gathering players. First off, I want to start with the full text lands. These are a unique and interesting idea if you spend any time on Reddit or following Magic the Gathering memes, then you'll be aware of this idea. It will exist somewhere in the back of your brain. Lately, full art has been the big key. It's been a big selling point. This is just the joke poking and prodding back at that idea that everything needs to be full art. Full text, natural way to push back. In this secret layer, you can spend $29.99 before shipping. That might be important where you live for five lands, one of each basic land type. Or 39 for foil, or uh, quite a bit more if you want 10 of each. If you want 10 of each land, which I suggest if you're looking to bling out entire decks of cards, then you're going to be spending $239.99 and $319.99 respectively for those products. I'm going to kind of rank these now based on how I feel about them. I feel like this is maybe a four. For me, this is kind of a miss as far as a product goes. Uh, basic lands are something that if you bling them out or you proxied yourself, nobody's going to know or care. Five lands for $29 is, I feel, outrageous when you can get lands for five, ten cents a piece. You know, it's... Uh, not increasing the lore of magic, just the Reddit lore that exists behind magic, which I think it's interesting that they tried to tap into that. It's not really uh, adding anything to the game. I usually rank based on lore, playability, and value. Value is low, lore is bad, playability is 100%. There is no magic deck that can't play these cards, which is the only thing pulling up that ranking. So I'm going to give it a four, no matter which version you buy your money to spend. I'm not spending money on this particular bundle, even though I think it's kind of funny. The next one I want to talk about is our show is on Friday night. Can you make it? I love music. I love classical music. I love classical art posters. Some of my favorite proxies I've seen other people make. I think Sir Proxy makes proxies of classic album covers, cards. So the card is, you know, like an Eldrazi. It has Album, album cover art. I love that. That is something that really speaks to me, so that hits the lore for me hard. Again, the style might not be there for you. Uh, it's $29.99 for the non-foil. I believe there's a foil version for $39.99. And it's also part of the big bundle I'll talk about at the end. For me, uh, these are all instants and sorceries. These are Oathbreaker cards. These are potentially decent Signature spells for you if you're just starting out and you don't know what to buy or what to look for. I would say you could take these as a single list and shop um, if you don't want to bling out your deck this way. If you don't need these high value versions, uh, I might actually buy this one. I might. I like this. I would give this one maybe a seven because it does hit a lot of sweet spots for me. The next one I want to talk about is Showcase Strixhaven. The cool thing about Showcase Strixhaven is it's taking these showcase borders that they gave us in Strixhaven for the Mystical Archives and it's applying it to more cards that weren't part of Strixhaven's Mythical Archives. I wish they'd put these cards in, but because the power level of these cards, I kind of understand for some of them why they didn't. Um, and they're beautiful. I feel like the lore pieces there... They're all great instant sorcery signature spells. Again, you could take this card list, shop them, get the cards a lot cheaper if you want to buy the secret layer art, which is what you're getting. Let's be honest. That's what this is reviewing at the core of it, the art. 
then it's $29.99 or $39.99. Again, I'd probably give this a six or a seven. Probably a six because it's nowhere near as unique as the our uh, concert is on Friday. Can you come? Moving on, uh, the next couple is actually a few together, so I'm just going to kind of condense it. So they're giving us Shocklands, which can be a very useful tool for very many formats. There are dual lands that interplay tapped. They have two different land types. You can spend two life when they come into play to have them come into play untapped. Which for dual land, when you're trying to fix your mana, you want to stay on curve, you want to hit the game and hit the ground running. That's the important part then spending that two life is sometimes really good on a turn you need it. Having the option to have it come into play untapped is very useful. Uh, each of these dual land secret layers only has three cards in it. The secret layers are called Culture Shock and then one of these shards from Shards of Lara Block. And if you were to say buy all five of them in whichever version you want to buy them, you would end up with five of each shock land. No, sorry, three of each shock lands. Your options are, in the best order I could come up with, Culture Shock Bant, Culture Shock Esper, Culture Shock Grixis, Culture Shock Jund, and Culture Shock Naya. In Oathbreaker, we have very few three-color commanders, so looking at it from that angle, these aren't super useful. But if you, if you play Legacy, Modern Vintage, or EDH, these can all probably be useful in your collection. Dual lands that come into play untapped are not bad for Oathbreaker. You don't necessarily need three of each in a singleton format, but if you have quite a few decks, they can fill in some holes. The art is really beautiful on these. Um, at their cost, though, since you'd have to spend quite a bit to get all of the lands to really get what you want, I would say it's probably not quite there, so I give this one a six. Uh, each of these are $29.99 as secret layers, if you were to buy, buy them separately. I don't believe these lands come in foil, which is fine. Uh, the foiling process in Magic the Gathering has been problematic at times, so... <sighs> so, finally, there's the Super Shock Bundle, which is just all of those culture shocks put together into one bundle. It's $119.99. You do save money on it. Again, shipping might be an issue for you, so I don't know if you want to open that. My hope is the people that do open that, it's going to drive down the prices on those cards for the people who need them. And finally, we're down to the last secret layer and the biggest one. We expect this type of secret layer anytime they put the words super drop in the title. <laughs> the main event bundle is literally just everything I've talked about up to now. One of each of the secret layers, not the voracious reader stuff, for $259.99. So, depending on what you want or what you need, it might be better to mix and match. There is a little bit of savings to buy it all together. At the end of the day, it's going to be what you can budget for. If you don't feel you need to bling out your decks, then none of these are worth anything. If you love to bling out your decks and you see cards you want or love, then that's the way to go. I'd love to advise you further, but secret layers are such a specialized product that have to speak to you directly that make you want to want them, that it's kind of tough for me to tell you not to get something. Um, I don't feel like the value is there for the most part. Like one of these secret layers has six cards in it for $29. That rate isn't excellent, but they are good cards you know, at the end of the day. And the ones I'm least happy with is the ones I don't feel are adding lore or some sort of beautiful art to the game, you know? Uh, well, thank you for stopping by. Uh, please tell me what you think of these secret layers, what decks you're going to use them in, which ones you're going to buy, what what puts you off of maybe one I said I liked. Because I really do want to know what you guys think. Uh, this is a new format for me. I am now actually appearing in my videos. It only took me almost 60 videos to do that. So let me know below how you feel about this new style. And thanks again. And I just want you guys to know that your Planeswalker Spark lights up my life.